Good morning, everyone. Good morning, great real tours of Vatican Garden. Good morning. Beautiful day, and I'm glad to see your faces once again. Hope have you around. Today, on this episode of our master class, we're going to be addressing digital marketing. Simple, engaging, simple, and effective methods digital marketing. I'm very sure we in our various fields, we have an idea what digital marketing entails. But today, we're going to be looking at some simple methods that we all can apply. Because when we hear digital marketing, it seems out some very, very simple in every aspect of our businesses. So as we go into this class, I want us to have our minds prepared and have our ears at so that we can grasp whatever it is we are having for today. Prayers as we welcome the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, Amen. our Father, we have given on once again that your presence be with us. As our speaker comes forth, O oh Lord, we ask that let your speak to him, that let him again understand have knowledge of what to do next in every area of our lives. Father, we exalt your holy name. Thank you, our Father. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, now, tap innovation. Welcome our speaker, Mr. John Victor. Mr. John Victor, you're welcome. Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for showing up. Uh, oh, um, we are fine. I'm police. Which outside? We are part of this. I'm, I'm wondering why somebody would pay 100 million apply for an office that in four years you are making 50 million <laughs> and the other million is not sure that you will still win the office it's still 50 50. how we do business how many of us businessmen here would would be willing to do something like that so as at now apc 25 candidates so only one person will go right it is where so I'm still trying. It's not risk. It's risk. Okay. Well, God will help us to get to that that kind of level too. In Jesus' name. Okay. So um, today we are just going to be having conversations around digital marketing. How we self can make money and start buying, you know, buying forms, or even supporting the campaign with with those kind of things. Okay, but again, let's, since we are talking about politics, how, how, what do you think would make somebody want to invest that kind of money for an office that you are not sure of? Any ideas? Good morning. Relevance. Relevance. Okay. Explain, explain the relevance. Now, everybody So, Ogun State now, yeah. ex governor of Ogun State. Okay. Now, he just came out there. Thought he's no more politics, but now that he came out there, everybody's, everybody's talking about him. Okay, so really, that's that's a good point. Any other ideas? Why do you think some? I think that it's engaging. Okay. And everyone has a voice. Everyone has an equal chance. Yes. So, so, but then, why would you, if you were in a, what do you think would be the reason? Make that kind of risk or make that kind of business to say. Okay. 
to do better policies. Okay. So, so what are you are you going to reap? <laughs> what what's your uh, return on it? That's if they win. So what happens if they don't win? Is there still something to do? Political appointments. <laughs> so Okay, so whatever they are, you just want to be affiliated. So if 25 people go to um, the chance that that can recommend you for a appointment, or a appointment, or what's common that you can execute. Okay. So all all all, all is a question of probability. Said. But then again. Business people, we also need to understand that it's, some, it's important to align with some particular things. That's just the point I was, I was trying, to, uh, trying to make. The reason why somebody would donate 100 million to a campaign is because he knows that, okay, if this person gets there, yes, corruption or not, but if this person gets there, I can stand the chance to get favor from this person. Do you understand? So as business people also, we need to, beyond the politics, beyond the, we need to sometimes analyze all of these things and see the lessons that we can pick out from. Sometimes it might just be, be you being friends with your local government chairman or your counselor, and that might just be saving for one project that you need to do later in life or something like that, okay? So me, I still, I still believe that that 100 million is like investments, like somebody said, but not necessarily to enter the office. There are some people that know that they cannot enter the office. As far as APC is concerned, the only person that looks like has 100% guarantee right now is, Ash is Ashwaju. Every other person is just coming to say, okay, let me put my best foot forward and see what goes. Okay, but then they know that once they get in there, once Ashwaju gets there, for instance, um, because of the loyalty, because of, you know, party member, because of, you know, all of those things, the chance they stand a chance to get that things. Okay? So um let's come back to digital marketing. Let's leave politics. I'm a political analyst. So I'm not be able to do well that um, debatable to an extent. But yes, today we are going to be looking at digital marketing. Um we always talk about digital marketing, digital marketing. But how can we do things differently? to make sure we get, you know, some different kind of results, okay? Um, I've talked about Google My Business before, yeah? Uh, well, how, many of us, how many of us have a Google My Business profile? How many of us know what a Google My Business profile is? You, do you have a profile for your business? No, Not yet, okay, so do you know what a Google My, what, what is Google My Business, what does it do? So that's, that's, I forgot in this dictionary we used to use back then, you know, you ask what's the, it's, it's a digital marketing, a blanket answer, but it's still an answer. <laughs> it's still an answer, <laughs> we'll take it. So um, let's, let's do a practice. For those of us who don't know business, so phone now, and for, um, for instance, around me. How many of us are doing that right now? Cakes. Want to buy or supermarket around me, car wash around me. Just Google search that and let's see what comes out. Yes, buy cake or anything. How many of us have done it?
So what came up when you did that search? What came up? What result? Bike cake or any other product? Bike shoes, bike clothes around me. Yes. Okay, so some of us have an idea already. So imagine somebody is looking for a real estate agent, a real estate consultant, and the person is around your locality. Once the person goes online, which almost everybody does these days, uh, first of point is to search online. When people search, because you have a Google My Business profile, your profile, all those things you're seeing are Google My Business profile, your profile will come up you know, in the search result of that person. And that's what Google My Business does for you. It helps you to show up on Google search when people search for a particular product or service that you offer. Do you understand that? Uh, is that simple enough or do we understand? Okay, so when people search for, for instance, in our case, real estate agents. So um, Google My Business is also localized. When somebody searching for Mokota, the, the results the person will get is different from somebody that is searching in Nikita. What it means is businesses that are closest to you are the ones that will show up when you're searching, right? So if I'm in Ikeja searching for a real estate agent, I would find real estate agents that have listed in and around Ikeja. If I'm in Ogun State, somewhere in Ogun State, for instance, and I do that same search, I will find businesses that have listed in and around Ogun State. So for you as a consultant, it makes sense to have your profile listed. It's free. It's not like you're paying anything for it, okay? So that when people search, you know, you automatically come up. If you check that result, you see the person's phone number, you see the person's office address, you see pictures of the products, right? So these are like basic information that anybody would need for them to make a decision if they want to contact you or not. Do you understand? So how many of us are interested in setting up a profile for ourselves now? Okay, so let's, let's do it together. Um, so you go to business dot on your browser. Just type business dot google dot com. Business dot google dot com. So when you go to business dot google dot com, um, so far you have an email address registered. A Gmail address registered on your phone, it will automatically open it for you. Um, it should open an account on that platform with that registered email address, okay? So what you just need to do is click on Get Listed and fill out the form. It will ask you for your business name, your phone number, the website, what areas do you cover. So if you say you cover only Lagos, you know, you can put only Lagos. If you cover Lagos, Ibadan, you know, you can list out all of those cities that you cover, right? It's something very simple. It asks you to upload your pictures and stuff, uh, and stuff like that. The only thing that might require, um, you have to verify, okay? Because Google wants to be sure that these are real and valid businesses. You know, there's a verification process, okay? So two options. You can send, you can request for a postal code. What that means is they'll send you an envelope with a code inside of it. Send an envelope to that address they have listed. So if you have listed that your address is, for instance, 3 Wanchuku Drive, a postal um, code will be sent to 3 Wanchuku Drive just to verify that the business is actually there. Okay? There are some other ways that you can also get verified, but that's like the simplest and available option when you get listed. Okay? So how many of us are going to try this? after the class. I, I noticed that nobody was really doing it. So I don't keep us waiting. Let's move on. Okay. So there are different marketing channels um, under digital marketing. What I just explained to us, Google My Business, is under um, search engine optimization. Right? There are a lot of search engines. Google is one of them. Um, who can list other search engines that we know? Yahoo Search, um, Binge Search, so all of those things, anywhere you go to to search for something online is referred to as a search engine. And marketing on those kind of platform is called search engine marketing. Okay? Um, we have display marketing. Display marketing is, you know, when you show pictures or videos on different platforms. So sometimes, for those of us who like to read gists, when you go to some blogs, like Linda Ikeji blog, um, Eko blog, you know, different blogs that are available, 
you see adverts in between the articles that you're reading, right? All of those things are called um, display marketing, all right? Anytime you show a video or you show a picture of your products, you're displaying, so that's display ad, okay? So um, before, before we dive in, how do you currently reach new customers in your business? What's your experience? How do you currently get people to know about your business? What channels do you use? Facebook, Facebook and Property Pro, okay? Um, Facebook, WhatsApp, okay? WhatsApp status, okay? OLX, okay? All of those are also, you use Instagram, okay? What do you use, sir? You use Facebook, what do you use, sir? Facebook and WhatsApp, okay? So that's good. And these channels are currently working for you. If, if you had to pick one major channel, Right, like, what's your best channel out of everything that you have listed? The one that gives you better results for you: Facebook, 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 Instagram, Property Pro. Okay, LinkedIn. Yes, LinkedIn is also a very great channel. It's just that it's not so popular around around here. Okay. Um, so this was what I was explaining earlier: search engine. When you pay for adverts, so that so there are two ways, there's organic and paid. Organic is when you do it yourself. So like the Google My Business is organic. You're not paying for it, okay? But sometimes, again, people pay for their results to show up. Every time you search on your phone, the first two results that you see on the Google search page are actually paid ads. Somebody is paying Google to show you that ad every time you search, right? So if you Google on your phone now, buy Samsung, buy a phone, for instance, the first two ads that you will see, the first two results you see is either from Jumia or Conga. When it comes to electronics, they are like the two top results you always find. Buy Ketsu, buy Dispenser, anything electronics. You'd always see a Jumia ad and a, a Conga ad. And the reason for that is, as human beings also, psychologically, when you open a page, you want to check the first two or three. I was usually click on next on Google page. Remember the last time you went to the next page, to look for something. Most times you just stay with the theory that you see, right? So because it's a prime location in related language, prime location, people pay to show up in that prime location. So imagine somebody searches for real estate, buy property in Lekki, for instance, and your ad is the first thing they see. They are most likely going to connect with you. If they find something good enough, then you know your, your job is done, the, the deal is done. But the job of Google at that point is to introduce you to that person, show you, you know, create that introduction to that person so that the person can now, you can now follow up with the person and seal the deal. So that is search engine um, marketing. I talked about Google My Business. Then there's also this part of content marketing. Content marketing basically means you constantly sharing valid information about your industry so that people get to see you as an expert in that industry, all right? Um, in digital marketing, there's what we call KLT, know, like, and trust. People need to know you first, they need to like you, and once they trust you, it becomes easy for them to buy from you, right? Once somebody trusts you enough to the point that, okay, this person knows what to say, this person sounds like an expert in the real estate industry, then the next time they have a property need, they would most likely want to come to you because they have trusted you to that point. Okay, so that is what content marketing does for you. Content marketing basically means you constantly sharing valid information about properties, about real estate in general. Ten things to know before you buy a property. Okay, ten things to consider before you choose to buy a property. Five things to consider before you choose the color or that you paint your property. You know, just different things that people would find useful. For instance, if, they, if there's a particular paint that makes your building last longer, you know, I don't know if there's something like that. I'm just sharing ideas off my head. You know, once you put that kind of article out, out there, for somebody that didn't know before, I'm like, oh, okay, this actually makes sense. What that has done for you, it has registered you in the mind of that person as an expert, right? Um, why you should invest in swampy land or dry land, or why you should invest in dry land Swapping land. If you make some valid points that people did not know before, or you know points that resonate with people, 
then they see you as an expert. The next time they have a need to buy a property, rent out a property, or whatever it is around properties, they are going to come back to you because they have seen you as an expert in that industry. So that is what content marketing basically does for you. You constantly create content. It could be a video presentation. You talking to them via a video. It could be a video that you saw somewhere that you can even reshare to your WhatsApp status, to your Facebook page, your Instagram, or whatever it is that works for you. Okay, so these are like the basic um, channels in digital marketing that you can explore. There's social media marketing. Social media marketing covers all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, you know, any social media platform where you put out products, we are engaged media marketing, email marketing, who can guess what that is? What do we think email marketing is? So it's simple, when you send an email about your products and services, you're doing email marketing. There's text messaging, you know, all of those things. Then advertising is what I explained earlier. P pictures or videos are cross board. So places like YouTube, before you watch a YouTube video, there's a video that plays, I mean, was seconds then you can skip that is somebody paying YouTube to show you that advert because they think you might be interested in it so you can also do those kind of adverts to get people into your business okay so this was what I was explaining earlier changing you do a Google search in front of it that shows you that somebody is paying for you to see these two then the, the rest are organic those ones are paid for anybody can show up from here downwards okay but this is always dedicated to people that have paid for you to see that ad. okay so what can um, search engine marketing do for you this an explanation that I've given so far. It can help you to reach new customers, right? People that go to search for. So let me give us a tra um, let me use traditional markets to explain explain this. So why do people like to take shops in popular markets? Why do we think people like to take shops in popular markets compared to just taking a shop in front of your house or you know inside one street? Strategy. So why do you need that strategic to at attract customers? Yes. The key behind it is anybody that goes to a market, you are most likely going there because you want to buy. You will not just wake up in your house and say you want to take a stroll to the market. Even if you take a stroll, you are either going to buy or to do a research about price or you know what is available. But then you have the intention to buy. In digital marketing, that is called purchase intent. All right. So it is believed that people who do search, people who go to to search for um, Samsung Note or Techno i5, is because you have the intention to buy. So it might be the fact that okay, you are trying to gather more information before you finally buy, or you know you are even ready to buy and you are just looking for where to buy from. But any which way, you have that intention to buy. And so this converts better because most people that come to search already have that plan to buy. And you know, having a market in Eko Idumota, for instance, versus having a market in having a shop rather in Eko Idumota versus having a shop inside your streets, what it does for you is Eko Idumota is a heavily tra heavy traffic area. You have access to more people, and your chances of making sales are higher compared to where your streets where maybe it's only 50 people that will pass in a day, right? So that also applies here because a lot of people search for, um, for every second. I think there are about over 300 searches, you know, no, 3.5 million searches for every second on Google, yes, because people are constantly searching for stuff, how to make this, where to buy this, how to, how to do this, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so if you get listed on Google or your search, your advert shows up on Google search, you stand a chance of attracting the right kind of people to your business. Unlike Facebook and Instagram, 
nobody really goes to facebook to buy do you understand that analogy when you want to check facebook it's because you want to see updates from your friends and family right but while doing that you see an advert that you like and you can actually also engage with that but primarily facebook is a social media platform that is built for just interaction compared to this one where you know is specifically people that are looking to buy something that comes to you okay so google search helps you to reach new customers it helps you to also engage customers engage customers in the sense that i am not ready to buy i'm just looking for information right but at that point of looking for information you are the one that gave me all the information that i need remember what i said about content marketing it helps you to build that trust in the mind of those people so because i read you know when i was looking for price it was a price i saw i compared with other prices the price is better those things by the time i am ready to buy i will most likely come back to you because you are the one that engaged me gave me like you know all the answers i need when i had questions okay um it also helps you to com uh, convert customers people who come to search you know looking for where to buy so where to buy phone in okota and your shop pops up i'll most likely just come to your shop because at that point i am ready to buy i'm just looking for a place where i can buy from okay so um do you want to do the practical would anybody want to run a google ad anytime soon <laughs> we, should, we should try um your sister so let me see if and it's it's the same process with any other ad if you've run the ad before you should be able to So the Google Ads platform is known as AdWord, A-D-W-O-R-L-D. This is where you create all Google Ads. Google, as a company, owns Google, YouTube, Android, the Android phones, um, Android that we use. So any ad you see around that place can be created from here. If you're playing a video game, for instance, or a normal game on your phone, you know, at some point you see some ads. All of those ads are created from this central location. Okay, um, should pick my account. Okay. Okay, so this is where what your AdWord would look like. For you to start creating a campaign, um, you click on the plus sign, which helps you to start a new campaign. So you don't need a Google My Business page for all your campaigns. Yes. What you just need is a Gmail address. Once you have a Gmail address, you would you would go to google yeah um Sorry, give me a minute to quickly set up something.
Okay, so um, for those who have experience running, you know, there are what we call campaign objectives. Campaign obje objectives basically means what, what you want to achieve with that particular ad. These are also campaign objectives for um, goals, okay? App for it. Add word A D W O R L D. Um, it's not there. Yeah, so let, let me just watch this brand awareness. Okay, so another, another sub objective is drive video views and traffic. So you want people to watch your video, after watching your video, go to your website. Okay? Channel. Okay? Basically means like, comment, share, comment on my video, share my video, all those kind of things. They get a link to click and go to your website, which is what most people do on YouTube, right? Once you see a YouTube video ad, there's always a link for you to click that takes you to the website of wherever it is advertised. Just do that for engagement. You want to be popular. So right now, politicians are looking for engagement. They just want people to interact with them, you know, build that popularity base. Okay, so let's work with traffic to websites. Um, let me see, let me see. I need one of Sipat's YouTube video. Okay, so for, for YouTube ads, you, you're not allowed to upload. All you can do is share the link to that video. So I've just copied a link from YouTube and paste here. A video longer than three minutes to usually perform well. Okay, so we want to also make sure that you're using a short video. That's why it's because this video is a long video, longer than three minutes. So you want to make sure you're using a short video. But since we don't have a short video, I will just um, move on. So after viewers click on your ad, where do you want to send them to? So this is asking for the website. So you have a website address. Um, it could be your WhatsApp link. You want to take them to or your personal address. You can have one of them. The goal is to just put any link here, OK? So link to your website, link to your WhatsApp group, link to your WhatsApp page link to your Facebook page or your Instagram page or even a Google form that you have created to capture the details. You know, you just have to put a link there. All right. Um, so use... Are we following? Any questions? You can the app or do it from the web, which like I'm doing. If you want to do it from your phone, you can download the app or you go to the browser. Just Google, create Google Ads. You know, it will take you to this website where you can do this. Then you can choose your button, okay? Um, so let's use Learn More. So there are different action buttons that you can use for your ad. All those 
those things. I'm going to work with um, buy now because we want to sell. Buy now. Then you need to create an headline. Okay, so it's just like on Facebook, it's called caption. Create a caption for your video, okay? So this one, buy prime, prime properties. You want to make sure it's something that is catchy. Okay, next. All right, so like Facebook, also, you can target people based on four um, things Google age, gender, location, and interest, which is like the normal one with Facebook age, gender, location, and interest. So target will all keywords. Keywords are those words that people would type. So if I want to buy out for instance, for information about properties, I most likely want to type when I'm searching out, I buy or buy property. So what in those two examples are house and property. Do we understand? Keywords are those particular words people use when you are searching something that you are searching keyword we use property and house location so location can be what keyword can be address I can buy red dress in Lekki. so if you are targeting Lekki for instance you will get everybody that is mentioning Lekki do you understand? So most times you have to streamline towards particular industry. So buy property in Lekki, buy red dress. If you have red dress keyword, those two adverts, those two um, search because the keyword in is Lekki. But again, buy red dress is your business because you are not selling. So what you want to target is that word that relates to your industry, right? Location can be a secondary keyword, but your primary keyword should be that word that relates to your industry. So in this example would be house, proper, um, properties, what else? How do people describe maybe buildings? Do people really say buy buildings in Lekki or uh, buy apartments in Lekki? So majorly, your keywords will be buildings and properties, right? If you do location, then anything that concerns that location would trigger your ad. And most times, that is not what you are looking for, all right? So you want to make sure you streamline. So I'm going to go through all of that trouble. I'll just leave location as um, Nigeria. Then, like Facebook also, you find, you know, your estimates. Find how many people you can reach with that advice. You can also choose your age, okay, gender, age, parental status, you know, all of those things are there. So 
okay, you would see we get function so yeah together so any questions on this do we understand Questions, questions, or would you just move on to the other things? Yes. So it depends on what you want. Everything that depends on what you want to achieve. Okay. So already uh, keywords are so when you're also writing your caption, I said you want to make sure it's something catchy. Focus on user benefits. What would the person gain if they engage with you on that property? Okay, so you want to put all of those things out there. Um, you want to also want to make sure that you consider the kind of phones people use. You don't want to use so because of mobile phones, you don't want to use long and lengthy captions because most most mobile phone users don't have that kind of patience to start reading your your article. So you want to put all of that into consideration. Focus on your headline imagery, the kind of headlines you use, the kind of pictures you use, the kind of videos that you use also. All of these things contribute to the success of your campaign. Then there's what we call ad extension. Sorry, I didn't show us that. Ad extension means, you know, when you see a Google search, you would see the, the ad, the main link, then you see some other small, small links. So maybe call, call us now or visit our shop, some other sub-links. These are what we call ad extensions. You can also use that one to highlight some particular things about your product and services. Okay? Yes, so... So just anyone. anyone, yes. Okay, so Google My Business, we already talked about this. When people search, so these are ad extensions. The extensions I was talking about, this is one different button, this is another button, this is another button, this is another button that the person can click on and go to different, you know, get different information about your business. Um, content marketing. Um, how do we do content marketing? Like I said earlier, videos. It could be videos of yourself explaining a particular topic. It could be blog posts. You write articles, you know, about a particular topic. 
in real estate, if we case studies, okay, what can we learn from the Nigerian political scenario right now and how it affects real estate, okay? What can we learn from, you know, a particular thing? So you create case studies that you can share. You can also create guides. Five things to know before you buy property. Five things to know before you pay a real estate consultant. Two things to know before you buy a family land. Um, you know, create a checklist. Guide people to make the right decision within your industry. These are ways that you can use to build that engagement and trust in the mind of people. Okay? So, for you to get started with content marketing, you need to understand your target audience, right? The people you are talking to are they the kind of people that like to read long posts or they just prefer to watch a video or they prefer to even listen. You can do, do a, a, an audio podcast where you are constantly sharing information and, you know, they can plug it while they are driving, you know, have it on their mobile phone with their earpiece on and like that, like that, okay? I don't know people that want to be speaking in English. Some people will even appreciate your message better if you speak to them in a local language, maybe Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, depending on what works for them, right? So you need to identify all of those things about your audience before you go and yeah, then, of course, audience segments. There are some people that like videos. There are some people that like, so for WhatsApp, for instance, WhatsApp people, they like to watch short, short videos. So you can create short videos for those kind of people. On Facebook, you can post a three minutes video, for instance, or a five minutes video, for instance, and you know, that's a different mm -hmm. kind of audience. You have to factor in all of that, okay? Customer journey basically means at what you for information, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody that is just looking for general information, you can send in that kind of person account details. Like, oh, yeah, buy now, we have 50% discount today. We'll give you 50% discount. The person is not in that stage yet, right? Somebody that is looking for, somebody that is at the stage of buying, you not start telling the person that there's perimeter fencing, there is, um, you know, all of those things. You will bore that person out. So you also need to understand what stage is that person so that you can provide them information to them. Do we understand that, that part? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can also use content to generate business. Okay. What that means is after your post, if you like to get on a one-on-one -on -one call with me for five minutes, let me, let's, let me answer all the questions about property I do or let's leave a comment on this post phone number or something and I will reach reach out to you. So that is how to use to generate leads. Um, I have five things to know before you buy real estate. I have given you two. Uh, if you get the remaining three, send me your phone. I can forward you the remaining three on WhatsApp. That's a way to generate your content. Okay? Um, sometimes you can even post, post, um, you know, between dry land and wet land, right? After all the explanation, you can say, okay, for those who would like to see the difference between wet land and dry land, I have an explanation on Saturday. If you're interested, come with me and I will show you, you know, stuff like that. That's how to use your content to generate you know, business for yourself, all right? Social media, we all know about the social media. How many of us are all of these platforms? Exactly impossible. Uh, so you are, on, you are on all of them. Wow. Yes. Including TikTok. You have a TikTok account where you share. You just go there to work. You do share, wow, that's cool. Um, so you are on all of them, one person. How many of us? On one, two, three, four, five, six. On five. How many of us are on four? Instagram. 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 Okay. WhatsApp should be added. Okay, um, LinkedIn. I'm
that these are like popular ones okay so the primary social media platforms are this there's you know so many others but most times again you need to focus on the ones that bring you results. this is not a social media platform it's not it's a marketing platform so scm and display marketing that's where gg will follow okay social media platform designed for social interactions primarily designed for social interactions but then we found a way to bring business to it okay so you want to look for the ones that give you results and focus on them. now and the trick is have your present presence across board because one that is popular today might not be popular to my come up so TikTok was not this popular some two years ago yeah. right but today it is it was COVID-19 that made it blow up right <laughs> so imagine you know you, you overlooked here yeah, TikTok nothing serious in there but today that is where, that is where like you know the main thing happening so what we usually advise is have your presence across across but that means open your red across all of them then anyone that catches fire you can you know focus your energy there and get the results that you're looking for okay of course social media helps you to generate sales because you're constantly talking to people so there's an opportunity to introduce your business to them and get them to buy from you um you can use that to also add value to your brand you create a pass brand who see posts from you over and over and over, and over again. you know it registers in their mind that this is what this person does and you know i can rely on this person for these kind of things okay and of course it helps to improve your marketing okay so organic social media is free post you post on your facebook page post on instagram page. all of those things are free uh, you reach followers you send them messages and all of that but there's also a paid part of social media which we have facebook instagram ads you know all of those things you to get extra views for your content okay um paid social media helps you to reach anyone anywhere at any time okay so you can get better results when you do the paid version of it tiktok also has linkedin has linkedin ads twitter has twitter ads so and all of these platforms the paid version that you can always utilize um what are the things to consider when you want to create your ad for younger generation what, what platforms you will you as are today instagram, TikTok. instagram TikTok. Funny, find more people on tiktok for the younger generation you find them on tiktok um if you're looking for people below 18 years you actually find them on likey it's not so popular because you know we are not in demography but for businesses that want to advertise like he that is where you find most of these secondary school students right? so you need to understand demography if you're looking for older generation of people where you find them say from six upwards, or upwards facebook, facebook and what's up they are always on what's up <laughs> what's up okay um so twitter you want to find young trendy people young working class nigerians twitter is a place to be okay i want to find people that are really really interested young people that are really interested in entertainment so a little difference between twitter instagram and tiktok is on twitter you want you would find most likely working class serious minded set of people tiktok you find people that are entertainment they can be serious minded they can be young but the key selling point is entertainment right so you don't want to go to tiktok and you know perform suits and tie and you want to start speaking some grammatical english you, would, you, know, you have to deliver it in a friendly casual entertaining survive on tiktok like twitter where you can speak you know can you so you understand all of this demography um location is important profession i just talked about it Enter entertainment fashion 
all of those things, you find them more on Instagram, TikTok, compared to Twitter. Behavior, all of that. Okay, so behavior is also important. Um, when you wake up in the morning and you pick up your phone, what is the first app on your mobile phone? For you, it's WhatsApp. So most likely, most people do WhatsApp. Okay? Facebook. So if you want to get people at money, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, because that's where most likely you find those kind of people. So you in quotes, you just want to now start doing casual stuff like TikTok and Twitter. So behavior is important. So if you on, um, on Facebook and Instagram, for instance, you don't because most people are active there late in the evening. So when they are coming from work and in traffic, you find them you know, on Facebook, Instagram, and all of those spaces. You understand demography. Have when they are most likely going to be online early in the morning, and so you need to find things when you are doing those um, campaigns. Um, so what I want to deliver? People who are always interested in pictures, you want to make sure you deliver your content using images. Are interested in Insta. so on TikTok. You most likely have to do video. If you want to go and do a, 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 a TikTok, you most likely will not sell compared to video. Right? You need to factor in so, about so far. The screen back. Questions, questions. So go back. They come back. Okay. Questions. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. So how, how what did you? Advertise. What call to action did you choose, and did you take them to your WhatsApp page? How did you set up the ad? What what was the destination? Now, you remember when I was setting up that ad? When people finish watching your ad, what do you want them to do? do you, what do you want them to do? You want them to go to a link. Right? So maybe the mistake you did was you just promoted because people will watch. But then the call to. So after you watch my video, please click on this link and chat me up on WhatsApp. Let me provide more information. That's a destination. WhatsApp is a destination. I use my phone number directly. Use your phone number directly, and you didn't get calls. Okay. So, again, it's possible properly. Like I said, so most times you use um, a connection. So a destination like WhatsApp, for instance, where I can continue the conversation with you because sometimes again when people watch videos there's tendency to forget remember it wasn't your video i came to watch it was another video i came to watch and i saw your ad so most likely i want to finish what i came for before but if i already have your whatsapp content for instance i can click on it send you a message whenever i'm done i can always come back to continue that conversation 
So you need to factor in you know, all of those things into your strategy. Okay, so maybe when you want to try it again, just you know, do it properly this time. Use a link most likely so that people can go to your WhatsApp or your business page or whatever it is that you want pe people to get to. Okay, does that answer your question, sir? So any other questions? Any other questions? Questions, questions, questions. Okay, so ways to deliver your content, videos, pictures, blog articles, infographic, live broadcast, which is also a very engaging way. We we'll do a um, Facebook live session Twitter space, um, there's Twitter space now that is also catching fire. You know, you just gather people in a room and discuss a particular topic, okay? Display ads, I've talked about this. Displays, display ads are graphic content on website, apps, or social media platforms. They are usually found in banners, text, visual combination. Um, so, such, such advertising, you can show display ads also when people search. Okay, when I search and I go to images, I can see your images. When I watch YouTube videos, apart from the video ad, there are usually small picture ads that show, especially when you're watching on, on a laptop, on a computer, you'll see some other smaller ads. While, while your video is playing on the, in the background, you see one small banner that shows. It's also an ad that you can use to get attention email marketing we talked about this earlier when you send emails to people um, to engage with your business okay so what are the things to consider when you're doing email marketing first you want to personalize that email talk to the person like you know you're talking one-on-one -on -one. how are you I like I would like you to you know consider this property because I think it is good for you you're talking to the person on a personal note, okay? Uh, make sure you also get back. What do you think? What can I do for you? How can I help you? Do you have any questions about properties? Reply to this email and I would answer any questions that you have. Okay? You want to make sure you are creating that connection, okay? So, questions, I think we are at the end of the session. We talked about. Okay, so let's answer a few questions. Um, out of everything we've been talking, which of these channels do you think would work for you better? Google My Business, social media, email marketing, which of them do you think you want to try and might most likely work for you better? You want to try Google My Business? The process, okay. So after the class, I'll I'll sit down and and walk you. Okay. Verification. Uh, so it's optional. You can have a website. You can skip it. It's not compulsory. Yes, you can skip it and move on to the next. Um, okay, so imagine you're a customer looking for a service. What about that, you know, would make you want to consider them? What can you pick out of the ad? What is good about this example? So for instance, the fact that the business is open, that could be a selling point for you. So imagine you want to go to somebody's office and you're not sure if that person will. Most likely, you don't want to take the risk of going there. You now see that the shop is closed. For In Lagos, most people close by short time. But maybe by 30, you remember that you need to buy something again tomorrow. And you go online to search. You see that the market is open at 
would that be a selling point for you or not? Most likely, yes. You quickly just want to. So, eleven, I can to also have this kind of information on your own page because it helps people to make that decision. They call them buying decisions or decision conversion. Decisions. The fact that okay, you also have online. For instance, if I see there is something quickly and it's convenient for me, that can also help me to make a buying decision, right? And that group has a phone number. Uh, maybe I, I don't want to take my okay, let me call ahead and find out. So make sure your own work. That's that's the cocoa. So make sure that you put a price. So yes, Nigerian businesses can be sometimes funny. They put a phone number that probably they used four years ago and they longer have access to that number. Or a phone number that always switched off. Right? But then as a business that is serious, you want to make sure that you have an active line. Because people are definitely always going to call. That means you have also tried calling them. If, if for instance, they had picked up, maybe you would have finished that business with them. It's likely you just go to somewhere else and find. So all of these things are good examples of how you should construct your own page. So that's, that's also a valid point. That's also a valid point. But then again, as a business, you want to make sure that you are constantly, any opportunity for you to get. So if you don't want to put a, maybe your personal phone number, you could have a dedicated phone number for your online presence, a number that you can just put and have maybe one of your boys in the shop, you know, or one, your receptionist answer that number. Of course, if it's a call that you're not interested in, you can always end the call and move on, block the number, whatever it is like that, okay? So we are just constantly looking for ways to improve our marketing. Um, let me see, let me see. So what is good about this example, just like we did earlier, what is good about this ad? You can see everything almost clearly. It's not an ad that you know you have plenty of things jam packed it's together. Not it's not crowded. At one glance, you can see the key information that you need. There are some flyers that you see that like five minutes to study it before <laughs> before you understand the message. You can see that the colors are also balanced. There are some ads that you know you see them and you just, it's just to flash it to your eyes. You just want to take your eyes off it. So. You want to make sure that then social media page you can see that you know everything looks together it's not scattered it looks organized and that's also a quality that some some people subconsciously judge you with when they come to your page and they see everything crowded today you're talking about farm tomorrow you're talking about real estate the day before yesterday you're talking about um clothes you know it does it's just a turn off sometimes so you want to make sure that everything works together for your good okay Key takeaways. what have we learned today One hour. what have we learned today any 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 feedback that you are most likely going to try after this class google ad okay You're most likely going to try it um you should i think this is google ads for you also Google Ads. Okay, everybody, Google Ads. All right, so, um, Brad, with this few points of mind, I hope I've been able to convince us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Victor. We appreciate your presence. So, I guess Mr. Victor has been able to shed some more light on digital marketing. I just really implore us all to go home and practice some of these things so that we can see results. So I want to thank you all once again for coming around today. We thank you all, and we hope that 
you all who keep on showing up. Keep on showing up so at least you can constantly share ideas. That's really what brings the results when we constantly share ideas. So have a lovely day, everyone, and then I wish you a blessed weekend ahead. Thank you very much.